The emergency bandage, nicknamed the Israeli bandage by U.S. troops, debuted in 2000. Invented by an IDF medic, the device is designed to stop the bleeding of traumatic hemorrhage wounds. It is the only device of its kind that utilizes a patented pressure applicator to exert approximately 30 pounds of pressure at the wound site. The original and patented closure bar at the end of the cloth leader secures the wrap. Various styles are available, which we will discuss in a few moments, and practically any type of wound can be wrapped with the bandage. The emergency bandage is the bandage of choice for U.S. and international military units. It is also found a home in EMS, industrial, and hospital arenas. Due to its versatility, the bandage eliminates the need for 4x4 dressings, curlex, sticks, etc. That is a savings of money and space and an increase in efficacy. All styles of the emergency bandage have the same key components. One sterile non-inherent pad, or primary dressing, one latex-free elasticized cloth leader, or secondary dressing, one high-performance pressure applicator, and one closure bar to secure the wrap. Product details are clearly marked on the front of the product and instructions are on the back. Rip open the outer packaging at any corner notch. Remove the bandage from the clear inner wrap by ripping the center notch. Unfold the bandage and notice that your hands never need to touch the sterile non-stick pad. Place the sterile pad on the wound in such a way that the pressure applicator is offset to the side of the wound. Wrap one revolution of the cloth leader, insert into the pressure applicator, and begin wrapping in the opposite direction, tightening as you go. Once you complete the wrap, insert one side of the closure bar into two or more fabric folds, like a pin in a shirt pocket, to secure the wrap. Another way to begin a standard wrap and achieve even more pressure is to twist the cloth leader each time you wrap on top of the pressure applicator and close the wrap with the closure bar. To ensure that no outside debris makes contact with the wrapped wound, wrap below and above the initial revolution first. Complete the wrap and secure with the closure bar. Insert the leader into the pressure applicator to create a space for insertion. Bring the pad to the wound area, insert the cloth leader, wrap and secure with the closure bar. You can also use the cloth loop near the pressure applicator. Again, bring the pad to the wound area, wrap and close. The emergency bandage also has an application that is similar to a tourniquet. While it will not completely stop blood flow, it will reduce it significantly. To use the tourniquet-like function of the bandage, wrap is normal. At the end of the wrap, lift two or three folds of fabric, insert the closure bar, and twist as you would a tourniquet. When you are unable to continue twisting, close the wrap with the closure bar. Select versions of the emergency bandage feature a second mobile pad. Styles with two pads facilitate coverage of entry and exit wounds. Exit wounds often bleed more profusely than entry wounds. With that in mind, place the stationary pad on the exit wound. The pressure applicator is on top of this pad and will exert additional pressure on the site. Slide the mobile pad to the entry wound, wrap and secure as previously instructed. Wrap one revolution of the cloth leader, insert into the pressure applicator, and begin wrapping in the opposite direction, tightening as you go. Close the wrap with the closure bar. Place the pad on the wound. Wrap one revolution. Go through the pressure applicator. Pull in the opposite direction and wrap again. Insert the cloth leader into the space between the pressure applicator and the patient. And now begin to wrap head to chin. Close the wrap with the closure bar.
Place the pad on the abdominal wound to cover and hold the exposed contents in place. Pull the cloth leader through the pressure applicator and continue wrapping in the opposite direction. Exert only necessary pressure as you wrap because your goal is simply to cover the wound. Close the wrap with the closure bar. To learn more about these products, contact us at www.ps-med.com.